I'd be happy to help, no problem. Uh huh. What time on Thursday? One o'clock's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for asking, sir. Okay. All right. I'll see you then. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, who is that? That was one of my old professors at the drama department at the university. He wants me to come talk to his students in the stage lighting class. Well, that should be fun. Yeah, yeah. He said he finally made it around to see our show, and he really liked the way we had set the stage. Yeah. Um, he said he especially liked the way we had the different areas set with the cab driver's set and the convenience store and the desks. Um, and he liked the way we directed the audience's attention using lighting. That's a pretty good compliment from an old professor, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> well, you're doing a good job. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, he gave me a B in that class. Maybe we should see if he could change it to an A. <laughs> hey, Kelly. You've got a visitor. Brandy. Yes. Kelly Abernathy. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Rudy Thompson. He is our director, producer, lighting man, sound guy. You name it, he does it. <laughs> I pay her to say all that. <laughs> Brandy is a student at the university, and she's here to take private acting lessons. Great. Well, you've got a good teacher. Maybe if you get done, you can join us in one of our shows. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm interested in learning. OK, Brandy, let's go to the green room and get started. I've taught acting classes before, some summer camps, a couple of college night school classes. I was a grad school assistant. I have a curriculum that works really well here. It's an eight week course, and if you'd like, there's a second course that's another eight weeks. That sounds good. So we'd meet once a week, and you'd have some homework and some scenes to take home. Um, Kelly, is there any way we could do these lessons once a day? Once a day? Yeah, I'm really interested in acting, and I could come and take the lesson, then go home and work on it and come back the next day. I don't know, we've never done it that way. Usually you need some time to rehearse the scenes. I promise I'll work really hard. I don't know that you're gonna get the results that you want, though. But I really wanna learn. I can see that. I've always been interested in acting. I'm a drama major at the college, but I really wanna learn some Christian drama. They don't teach anything Christian at the university. In fact, most of that stuff is pretty bad. I understand. <laughs> so, if it's okay with you, can we at least give it a try? I promise I'll work really hard, and if it doesn't work out, then we'll do it your way, okay? Okay. Great, I won't let you down. When can we start? Well, if you have an hour now, we can go ahead and get started. Is this a good time for you? This is a perfect time. It's in between classes. This can work. Okay, let's get to it then. Joanna, hey, can you run some copies of this for me? I need 25 of them by Thursday morning. Sure, what's it for? Well, I'm speaking to the stage lighting class at the university, and I wanted to hand them out to the students so they could reference it during my Lecture. That's a good idea. So you're gonna play college professor for a day, huh? Yeah, get me Dr. Rudy. Well, Dr. Rudy, you misspelled two words here. What? Oh, an well, honest mistake. Sure it was, twice. <laughs> you're a little nervous, huh? Yeah, I guess I wanted to impress the students, so. And your former professor? Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry about it, you'll do fine. Just remember to tell him you were a drama major, not an English major. <laughs> this is one of the scenes that we do in the show. And you will play the rebellious teenage daughter and I'll play the mom, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Um, I'm a little embarrassed to act in front of you. <laughs> no, don't be embarrassed. That's one of the things that a lot of actors have to get over. The idea is to become the character. And plus, I want to see what you can do, and that way I can help you, okay? Okay. You ready? Ready. Darlene, you're not leaving the house looking like that. Looking like what? Don't snap at me. Mom, I'm old enough to make my own decisions, and I'll do what I want to do. That's not the way it works. That's not the way that God set it up. Here we go with the God talk again. Darlene, why are you so rebellious and against me all the time? I'm tired of your rules and of all the strict things I have to follow. Our rules are not strict. We're just trying to follow the Lord. That's the point. I can't even breathe. Okay. Tell me one rule that you disagree with. All of them? Hey, that was good. Good job. Thanks. I can be rebellious, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> me too. You know, that's the role that I play in the show, and Andy plays my mother. Are there any other scenes that 
you do personally, those are the ones I'm most interested in. Sure, there are quite a few of them. Let me pull some more of them out. And hey! Yeah. Do you have a minute to go over a scene with me? Yes, I do have a minute, but I didn't want to shout it down. Oh, sorry. I guess I could have walked over to the stairs and called it up quietly. Mm hmm You could have. Well, next time I will. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure if this scene's going to work, because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to write something else. Okay, what you got? Well, this is that scene between Kelly and I, but uh, since she's giving her acting lesson, I thought I could read it with you. Sure. Okay. Just pretend to be Kelly. Pretend to be Kelly? How am I supposed to do that? You know, just read it the way she would. Okay. It's another one of those father-daughter scenes, you know? Oh, got it. Darlene, can I speak to you for a moment? What now, Dad? Don't talk to me with that tone of voice. I'm your father. Sorry, Dad. I just asked you not to talk to me with that tone of voice. What tone? That tone. I just said, what now, Dad? Don't you know that the Lord looks at our attitude? Yes, Dad, I know. You have told me a hundred times. So why don't you try to have a good attitude? Maybe because I don't care. What's that supposed to mean? Look, Dad, I don't care about all this religious stuff like you do. I don't care about following the Lord and all that. Darlene, I can't believe you just said that. You're my little girl. Who's all grown up, and she didn't turn out like you wanted her to, did she? Go ahead and say it. I didn't say that. Yeah, but you're thinking it. Darlene, I love you with all of my heart. And I just want to make sure that you are with the Lord. I mean, tell me something that's more important than that. I can think of a hundred things. Tell me one. Boys and music and riding in my car and going out with my friends. There, I just named four. But none of those things are more important than following the Lord. They might not be to you, Dad, but they are to me. But what if you and your boyfriend are riding in your car with some of your other friends listening to music, and all of a sudden you get in an accident and all of you are killed? Life is tragically cut short. None of you reached your 18th birthday. And lastly, not one of you had the Lord Jesus in your life. With that said, you tell me now what's more important. And that's all I've got so far. So what do you think? I think it's fine. You didn't say that very convincingly. No, Travis, it's fine. Yeah, but I didn't like your tone. What's wrong with my tone? I... <laughs> okay, Travis, I've got to go. Thanks for having me, Andy. Well, if it isn't the professor. Is that Rudy Thompson, PhD? <laughs> How'd it go today, Rudy? Uh, I think it went pretty well. Good. Was there any doubt? I was pretty nervous, but I think it went well. The students asked a lot of questions, and uh, some of them had even seen the show, so. Mm, that's great, man. Oh, uh, did they say who their favorite actor was? <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, they did, Gates. Well, what can I say? They like Kelly and Andy the best. <laughs> Get out of here. It's a room full of guys. <laughs> Ooh, that makes the difference then. I would hope that they would like Andy and Kelly best. <laughs> yeah, it was tied for first. Half the guys like brunettes, the other half like blondes, so. Speaking of which, where's Kelly? Uh, the last time I saw her, she was in the green room. Okay. Hey. I'm glad stuff went well for you today. Thanks. Kelly. Hey, Rudy. How'd the class go? Good, good. The students seem really interested. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, I need to talk to you for a second. Sure. 
I saw Brandy on campus. Oh yeah? No kidding. Yeah, the lighting class takes place in a scene design room, which is right next to the main stage, and she was on stage rehearsing one of your scenes. That girl is amazing. She's so interested in acting. You know, I bet within the last three days, she's learned five of the scenes that I do in the shows. Um, Kelly, it wasn't quite what you think. I mean, she wasn't doing the scene the way we do it in our show. She didn't do it the way that you two rehearsed it. She was making fun of it. I mean, she was mocking the Lord. She was mocking our faith. What? I mean, she didn't see me there. I don't think she saw me at all. But is she supposed to be a Christian? She said she was. I asked her on the first day. I, I don't see how a Christian could say some of the things she was saying. I don't understand. I don't either. But you might want to keep the student after school tomorrow. I will. Hi. I learned the scene. It was great. I love the way this plays out. Good. I'm glad. Do you want to go to the green room? No. There's some actors practicing a scene in there, so we're going to stay in here today. And uh, don't mind Rudy. He's just putting together a lighting plan. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm used to watching actors rehearse all day. Okay. I'm not sure I'm ready for an audience yet. Oh, you'll be fine. You said you learned the scene, right? Yep. It took me a while, but I think I got it. Okay, let's try it. I just want to make one slight change before we get started. Sure. You play my part, and I'll play your part. Huh? You play my role, and I'll play your role. But I didn't learn it that way. I didn't practice your part, I just learned my part. No, oh, I know. Just for fun, we'll try it. You know, like a cold read. Okay. I'm not going to do this very well. I'm nowhere as good as you. Oh, you'll do better than you think. All right, whatever you say. Rudy, this is the scene between the two teenage girls. So you'll play the youth leader, and I'll play one of the teenagers. You got the first line. OK. Is there anybody else who'd like to share their testimony? How about you, young lady? We haven't heard from you yet. What's your name? My name's Sam, like short for Samantha. OK, Sam, how did you come to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? How did I come to know Jesus as my Lord? <laughs> well, a bunch of girls and I were hanging out one night, and this guy comes up to us, and he starts talking about religion. I mean, it was totally hilarious. I mean, he starts talking about how we have to repent from sin, otherwise we're going straight to hell. Something wrong? No, it's just that's not the way we worked on that yesterday. But what do you think about the way that I played it? It was different. So it was different? Yeah, very different. Kind of like the way that you've been acting on campus, doing the routines a little differently. What? You heard me. I don't know what you're talking about. Rudy, would you like to help Brandy out a little? Gladly. Um, I was at the drama department yesterday, and I saw the little scene you did. Oh, <laughs> that! The girls really liked it. They said I did great. They were really laughing. Uh-huh. That's funny, because this is one of the most serious scenes we do in our show. I don't know what you're talking about. Brandy, come on. I saw you with my own eyes. I'm not blind. You were mocking the scene Kelly's been teaching you. You were making fun of her. You were making fun of the Lord. I mean, don't play dumb. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. I know she does. Why, Brandy? I don't understand. Aren't you a Christian? I'm pledging a sorority, and they don't just take anybody. It's a party sorority that gets all the guys. Part of my initiation was to learn seven of your scenes and act them out for the girls. But they wanted them acted out their way, the way they believe. Why would you do something like that? 
This sorority is number one on campus. Don't you understand? Girls would do anything to get in there. Even lie and deceive? I did your routines word for word. It's amazing what some people will do to feel accepted. You don't understand. No, you don't understand, Brandy. The lessons are over. But I haven't learned the seven scenes. Look, if you're gonna mock my faith and make fun of these scenes, you can forget about it. That's not the way that we work here. You may not truly believe in Jesus Christ, but I do. So go and tell your sorority sisters that if I were a student on that campus, the last place that I would wanna be is in that sorority house. Make sure that you tell them that the next time you see them. I'm sure they'll get a good laugh out of it. The lessons are over. But I haven't learned the seven scenes yet. The lessons are over. But I haven't learned the seven scenes. Brandy, I believe she said the lessons are over. I thought she was a Christian and that she wanted to learn about acting. Kelly, you had no way to know. You just took her at her word. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. If I told you about all the times I've been deceived by people in my life... Should have known when she wanted to take acting classes every single day. Yeah, it didn't sit well with me. Well, maybe the Lord was trying to tell you something then. I don't feel good about the way I reacted either. What do you mean? the way I spoke to her. But Rudy said you told her the truth. Oh, it's not what I said, it's how I said it. I was so hard on her. Look, Kelly, sometimes you have to get in people's faces. I mean, even Jesus got in the faces of the Pharisees. I know you handled it better than I would have. So what are you saying, Andy? Would you have come at it with both barrels? Let's just say, when my blood boils, it gets pretty hot. She needs to know Christ. And I blew a chance to tell her. Rudy said you did tell her. I scolded her. I didn't tell her. Look, can I suggest something here? I suggest that we pray and we ask the Lord to use what you said, regardless of how you said it, for good. I agree. Me too. And don't feel bad. You stood for the Lord. And you said what you did in the moment. Now we just have to leave the rest up to Him. Father, we come to you now in the name of Jesus. And we lift up Brandon to you, Lord. And we ask that you would move mightily and do a mighty work in her life. I came to pay for the lessons I took. No, Brandy, that won't be necessary. No. No, I want you to have it. You earned it. I don't want your money. Why not? My money's not good enough for you. Just keep it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right, well, don't send the cops around saying I didn't pay you. Don't worry, I won't. 
I also came to apologize. Apologize? I told my sorority sisters what she said, and they laughed. They thought it was pretty funny. But I, I didn't. I'm sorry for the way I deceived you and for the way I acted out your routines in front of the girls. It was wrong. I appreciate that. And you were right. I just want to be accepted. <laughs> you see, my parents were divorced when I was seven. They both remarried a few years later and had other children, and I was lost in the middle. <laughs> Neither one of them wanted me. I was a girl without a family. Still I am. That's why I was trying for the sorority. Now you know. I'm sorry to hear that. I... I also quit the sorority. That must have been a really hard decision. Yeah, well... Are you sure you don't want the money? Yeah, I'm sure. See ya. Brandy? I don't fully understand the pain that you're going through. But I do know what it's like to feel like you're not accepted. I want to tell you something. I, this may sound religious, and I don't want it to, but... Jesus Christ loves you and accepts you just the way you are. And the best thing about Christ is that when you accept him into your life, he doesn't leave you the way you are. He changes you into a better person. He can take all of your pain and heal you if you let him. I gotta go. Brandy? Do you think we might be able to get together sometime and have lunch? Yeah. Maybe. Call me any time. On one condition. What's that? If we meet for lunch, it's on me. <laughs>